We blast off with the news that Collision Course, the movie directed by Bolan Leostin Peters, will premiere on the global platform Netflix on the 2nd of September to celebrate cast, crew and members of the media gather for a watch party in Koi, Lagos. Enjoy. Thank you everyone, good evening once again. To celebrate the forthcoming release of the award-winning movie Collision Course on streaming platform Netflix, cast, crew and the media all gather in Ikoi, Lagos for a watch party. I don't know, something about me watching movies that I'm in, I always feel somehow, but I'm always excited to see Collision Course and I saw Collision Course, the last time I saw Collision Course was last year. So I kind of still felt jittery, but after seeing it today again, I'm so excited about Collision Course. Yeah. Morphing into the character Anna was really easy for me because I connect to her on every level. My husband is an artist. I had just been pregnant. I, my baby was six months gone. Uh, the end stars wasn't too long ago. My, my brother was very active. My husband also participated in the end stars. So I just needed to imagine worst case scenario and there, there it was. The audience would easily connect to both main characters, the policeman and the victim of the situation, which was my fiance Mide in the film. Uh, you would understand the system, you would empathize with the force, you would empathize with the average civilian, you would empathize with... I believe everybody will connect to every character on a personal level and you would be on the edge of your seats and you would cry and you would think and you would figure out ways you can add value and not be part of the problem. Collision Course is directed by Bolanli Austin Peters, was first premiered in 2021. The movie went ahead to win several awards home and abroad. Prior to its release, it featured as the closing film for the 10th Africa International Film Festival in November 2021 and was the opening film for the Athens Nollywood Travel Film Festival in May 2022. It also garnered the coveted AMVCA Awards for Best Movie West Africa for the year 2022. Oh my god, are you serious? Look at you, you're planning to get married. What do you hope to feed your family with? With this thing, this thing on your head? Me and you are the same person. Not just this system, because of this system. <laughs> Filmmaker Bolanle Austin Peters and some members of the cast and crew share their thoughts on the movie and the entire creative experience. I think they are going to um, have a better understanding of both sides of the divide. Um, the, the, the police force and also you know, the challenges they face. They are humans at the end of the day. They have their own challenges and issues. You know, so we, we try to make, to make uh, people want to understand with them you know, you know, that uh, they are not all bad people, we have some very good ones, and they are not all people looking out, looking to, to, to kill us or something, no. But you know, sometimes these things happen, at times could just be um, accidental, at times could just be, you know, pressures from here and there. And then also what upcoming struggling uh, youth experience as well in this journey to them um, becoming who they want to be and achieving their dreams, you know, the, there are a lot of things they have to pass through. It's a story that talks about humanity and it talks about the humanity of being a Nigerian. And I think it's that delicate balance of being able to, to showcase the vulnerability of all of us. You can't watch Collision and not cry and you cannot watch Collision and not feel for all the players. And it's that delicate balance that I had to strike that I think that I was able to achieve. No one was the villain, no one was the victim. Everybody is a victim. We all have to look after each other. That you're your brother's keeper. In Nigeria, we're not enemies. You're not my enemy, the police is not your enemy, or is, um, and you're not the police or whoever's enemy. The system that we live in is what is pitching us against each other and we're all victims of that system. So I think that the most important message is that we all have to look out for each other, for one another, and ensure that we fix the system. I got into set, I just started to weep. 
a family lives there. That's what are falling from the the ceiling. The you don't want to leave. You can't live there. Every, as the people were there now, you can't. It's a painful sight, and they have beautiful children. The most beautiful children ever. It's it, it was a painful sight. So I just found the strength somehow to break it. And this story, the collision course goes beyond you know the filming. It it's the everyday Nigerian that cannot survive that doesn't know who to call on when they cannot feed, when they can't sleep because their daughter or their son is ill and there's no you know, medical care. Just think of the worst. That's it. The director speaks on the several awards the movie has garnered and why she thinks the story makes a difference. Honestly, I'm so excited. I mean, it's been almost 18 months since we shot. I mean, it's done really well. It's been to a couple of festivals in Africa, Durban, in North America, in LA, in, in London, the Buck Film Festival, and um, obviously Afrif in Nigeria. So, um, and we've won about five awards and nominated about 13 times. So, I'm excited. I'm really excited that the world will get to see Collision Course. Collision Course, the movie, premieres on Netflix soon. Ten years we don't need for this place. This do the good, it's just the worst they go. Ask my boys with the air. Now one thing they keep us strong. Trust. You see us. Get many secrets where we will keep for this night. Oh my god, are you serious? This guy, what do you mean? Come, give, give me my money. I'm going to. I'm going to.